There are so many real estate launches happening that you need to be very selective and avoid buying for the sake of FOMO, fear of missing out. Restaurant owners, supermarket owners, and jewelry shop owners are now becoming developers and builders. While there's nothing wrong with this, how can you trust that they'll remain developers when times are tough? Will they hire an experienced and reliable property management company? Or will they simply try to save money? Be extremely careful about who you invest your hard-earned money with. Agents will try to sell you anything that's being launched by the developers who pay the highest commission. They may not guide you or provide you with a strategy that suits you. They are trained salespeople and sometimes even use psychological tactics to push you and play convincing mind games. So please do your research. Now let's discuss some basics of Dubai locations when it comes to real estate. The hotspots and prime areas of Dubai are downtown Dubai and Dubai Mall, Dubai Marina, JBR, JLT Zone, Palm Jumeirah, of course, Emirates Hills. And although it's not a hotspot yet, it is a very central location is Dubai Hills. There aren't many new launches coming up in these hotspots. And if they are, they are launching at really high prices. As a result, the real estate focus is spreading to various outskirts areas in Dubai to cater to the demand for affordable housing. The main focus for new construction are the Dubai land area, including the valley and Dubai land road, and the south of Dubai, the new Dubai, with Expo City and Al Maktoum International Airport are coming up. But in today's video, focuses on this zone here, the Dubai land, where Aldar is launching Verdes by Haven. Verdes is coming up within the Haven community by Aldar. The townhouses and villas that they launched in October 2023 sold out in one day. They were a huge success. Now it's the launch of wellness-inspired apartments with world-class facilities and amenities, and it's sustainable. Everything aims to be green and better for the environment. Here are the sustainability features. Pause the screen to review in detail. Investing with the biggest developer. You have a choice. You can invest with a small boutique developer, or you can invest with the biggest government-owned developer of Abu Dhabi, Aldar. Investing with Aldar means investing in a community with a vibrant and seamlessly well-planned experience as the property is being sold and managed by Aldar themselves. I always emphasize that the winning investor is one who invests in locations and communities where the master developer is selling and managing everything, including the infrastructure. When it comes to pricing, surprisingly, it's affordable pricing. Considering what's being provided, the pricing is not high. Here are the starting prices. And here is the flexible payment plan, 60% during construction and 40% on handover. You have ample time between payments. And if you need mortgage for the 40%, even if you're a non-resident and you're not living in Dubai, you can easily get it from the local banks here. Let's talk about the location. Verdes is located inside Haven, Dubai land, next to Al Hatur Polar Resort. Haven is at the center of two major highways. Emirates Road, E611, and Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan Street. A future metro station is planned on Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan Street, which is extremely close to Haven and, and a very big plus point. The site of Haven has one side facing the Dubai Land Residential Complex Towers. One side is facing the Emirates Road. Another side is facing the Villa Community. And one side facing the Al Hatur Polo Club. It is a huge piece of land being developed solely by Aldar. No other sub-developers are involved. It's a great location as it has easy access from major highways. What I like about the location of Haven where Verdes is being built is the traffic-free access from Emirates Road, which will lead you into the community. If you want to exit the community, you can take Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan Street towards downtown Dubai via Dubai Lane Road, reaching it in around 25 minutes. Alternatively, if you head towards the new Dubai area, south of Dubai, or let's say you want to pick someone from the Al Maktoum International Airport, the future airport of Dubai, you can exit the community and make a U-turn from the roundabout. You can see the villa community. And once after making the U-turn, go straight ahead and you can connect directly to Emirates Road E611 towards Jabal Ali, Expo City Airport, and even the Dubai Marina side. Now let's come to the spacious floor plans. The layouts are very spacious, unlike other new launches in Dubai where developers are just reducing the size 
of the units to have a lower final price. Aldar is focusing on real end users and aims to be the choice of long-term residents and investors. These are typical floor plans. A one bedroom size of 4.2 meters by 3.5 meter bedroom is bigger than most townhouses in Dubai. There's a border room for guests and a kitchen with ample counter space for cooking, which can even accommodate ha having bar stools. The two bedroom units are great as well, featuring 2.5 bathrooms with both bedrooms in suite and spacious living and dining area. Of course, the powder room and the laundry and the balcony sizes will vary in each layout. The two bedroom duplexes come with a kids play area or a study area and an oversized balcony or terrace. For the three bedroom units, there are two options you can choose from, either a maid's room with their own bathroom or a study room that can even be converted into a kids play area. My recommendation is to invest in a one bedroom or a two bedroom unit. It does not make sense to invest in a duplex apartment if the investment is more than 2.8 million dirham. In that case, a townhouse is a better choice in neighboring communities. So ideally, let's stick to the one bedroom or two bedroom units. And max you can go is with a three bedroom unit, but let's aim for one and two bedrooms. The beautiful exterior of the buildings consists of seven low to mid rise towers that will be constructed in Haven. Most of the Haven community consists of townhouses and villas with this being the only set of towers. The entrance and lobby will be grand and the towers are from G plus 4 to G plus 17. The interiors will be exceptional as well. For this affordable range of apartments, they are really well built with luxury fit outs and they will include the latest tech and smart home systems throughout. Amenities, the highlight is the tree house in Haven. There will be plenty of space for everything. Pause the screen to view the amenities in detail, which include top notch and state of the art equipment and wellness rooms, green shaded walkways, infinity pools, jogging and cycling tracks, co working spaces, multi purpose rooms, etc. There are three pools, one for the kids only, one, one is for the families, and, and, and an infinite pool, which is adults only. Now, when I say this is a community, one of the reason is they will be having their own school within the Haven community, along with other retail options in the community mall as well, like the retail shops in the community mall and the mosque. You need to visualize how it will turn out. If you can see the vision, you will understand the potential of this community. It's designed to be a well-planned, well-managed and truly outstanding place to live. Now let's talk about the launch. The launch is happening on July 11th at the Dubai World Trade Center Arena. Aldar will start accepting appointment registrations for interested buyers starting Tuesday, July 9th. No walk-ins are accepted. The first appointments will start at 9 a.m. on July 11th. And to get an appointment, for that you need to send me the details, passport copy of the buyer, mobile number, email, and full mailing address. If you are a UAE resident, I need the buyer's Emirates ID and visa page as well. I will register the buyer and apply for the appointment slot. I will complete the KYC, Know Your Customer form, on your behalf and send it to you to sign. On our appointment on the launch day, you can come on a live call to discuss real-time availability. Or if you're in Dubai, we can go together. It's a fairly simple and easy process. Obviously, the availability of the one-in bedroom and two-bedroom units will depend on when we get the appointment slot. My recommendation, again, is to invest in either a one-bedroom or two-bedroom unit and maximum a three-bedroom if you really like it. I am repeating this again, only I as the registered broker am allowed to go on the allotted appointment day and time with an authorization letter from the buyer. So if you the buyer are going with me, that's fine, but you cannot send any family or friend with me. And if you're in Dubai, you can of course join me on the appointment. And if you're not in Dubai, I can represent you with an authorization letter that I will send to you and you need to sign or give it to me. This is your chance to live in Dubai's first wellness inspired community that is also affordable. Discover apartment living at Verdes by Haven. Contact me with any questions you may have. Thank you for watching this video till the end. My name is Asfar Naim from Ultra Homes Real Estate, your licensed off-plan realtor in Dubai. Let's make it happen.